Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I'm sorry if you can hear like noises out there. We've got a long guy going. I got Alan Bear here because he was driving my husband crazy inside because he's obsessed with me and doesn't like to leave me alone. Um, but today is the video I'm super excited to share. I always get people leaving me comments and writing me and asking me how I use the things that I buy at Dollar Tree in my home. So it inspired me to make this video. So today I'm sharing three different ways that I have used items in my home as decor. And I hope that you guys enjoy this kind of video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's get into how I decorated with Dollar Tree stuff in my home. The first area I wanted to show that I decorated is my three-tiered tray. I love decorating my three-tiered tray. I think it's an easy way to decorate for any type of season, holiday, using little things that you find at Dollar Tree and put them all together in the three-tiered tray. Like I have here, I have moss rocks that are from Dollar Tree. I have the little wooden um, cross from Dollar Tree, some of Dollar Tree succulents. I have it filled with moss and I do have little cotton stems in there from Hobby Lobby. Those were also only a dollar, but I just incorporated, you know, Dollar Tree succulents, the moss rocks, the little bless this home sign in here, the peony flowers in there. I just took them off the stem and kind of stuck them in there. The top is the little salt and pepper shaker from Dollar Tree that I stuck a little flower in. So this is just such an easy way to decorate using Dollar Tree stuff and have it all in one area so it kind of all works together and looks like a really cool centerpiece. So I get a lot of compliments on this three tier tray and I actually posted a picture of it on Instagram not too long ago before I added the wooden cross to it and a lot of people loved it. So I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys because I know some of you don't follow me on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This next way I decorate, I was totally inspired by a couple of my subscribers who mentioned that they have seen or heard someone use these home doormats or whichever any of these Dollar Tree doormats as wall decor. I got so inspired. I've wanted something for this area. I actually want a shelf um, to put there, but I want to repaint the wall. So in the meantime, I thought this would fit it perfectly and I love the way that it turned out. I just added some rope from Dollar Tree and glued it to the back of the doormat and hung it and I think it looks so cute. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. And most people would have no idea that that was actually a doormat from Dollar Tree. So you're obsessed with Dollar Tree like me and a lot of you guys. A lot of people have asked where I am using the wall art that I get from Dollar Tree. So this is one of the examples. I took this lemon picture. I actually took the glass out of it because it had quite the glare. I didn't end up painting in this uh, frame. I thought about it and I still might, but I thought it looked fine just staying black. And I love the way that this turned out though because I just took that little lemon type basket that I found from Dollar Tree and I put some real lemons in it and then paired it along with the lemon picture and then an apothecary jar that I already had and moss balls I already had and I made a little hidden Mickey in it just to give it that extra little oomph because we love Disney and we live in Orlando. I think this is so cute in a kitchen and I love the way that it turned out and yeah. I loved both of these pictures so much when I originally saw them at Dollar Tree. I knew I wanted to use them somewhere in my kitchen, but I wasn't exactly sure. Then I kind of just set them here by my stove and I was like, yes, this is a spot. I love it because you use herbs and spices when you cook and I thought it was so perfect. I just actually set it right there um, on top of it so I can move it out of the way if I'm cooking. Um, but I actually have left it there when I'm cooking and nothing has happened to it. But you could obviously use some command strips and hook it up onto your um, backsplash if you wanted to. But I think it looks cute just sitting there. So an easy way to utilize the pieces of wool art. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out how I used Dollar Tree items in my home as decor. Let me know down below if you guys like this kind of video or give it a thumbs up. Let me know because if you do enjoy this kind of video, I will make sure to do more kinds of videos like these showing how I actually use Dollar Tree items in my home. And Alan Bear is going crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Amber, can you say bye? Amber, say, say bye. Can you say bye? Say whoop whoop, whoop whoop. Say bye, bye. Yes, he is getting a haircut soon.